Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be videoing my daily um, makeup tutorial, I guess you could say. And of course you can tell I have no makeup on. Eh. So I might look a little bit raunchy, but um, I just wanted to say a few things bef before I started. This is, um, if you've watched my videos before and you don't like them, just don't leave ugly comments below because they will be reported to spam or deleted or something and this is simply not to brag about anything there's really not to brag about anything and um... anything to brag about, I'm sorry <laughs> but um... if you don't want to watch this video just go ahead and exit out because you know, anyways yep. and um... also I'm so sorry you guys for not being able to video um... lately uh, in like two weeks um... I lost my charger to my camera and so I just now found it and I was like oh my gosh I'm dying not videoing so I came up here and I was like well I might as well just do my daily makeup so um and I got my hair cut today and, and I actually I sound like a big baby I started crying cause um cause it looked a little bit shorter but I guess it looks a lot healthier and um I just got over I, well, I thought I got over my sickness a few weeks ago, but it ended up, since I did not finish my medication, that um, I got it again. So that's why I still sound a little bit stuffed up, so sorry about that. But this is a really long introduction, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. But first, the first thing that you need to do is apply a, um, a moisturizer. This is Burt's Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream with cotton extract. So you're going to, or what I do is apply it in four places on my face, was a, which is on my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. Okay. You're just going to rub that in everywhere along your face. Okay. Now I'm going to try, try to make this the shortest video as possible. And you don't want it 20 minutes long because then you're going to get bored and not want to watch it. Okay, so then you're going to take a tinted moisturizer, and this is the Urban Decay Urban Defense um, Tinted Moisturizer with 20 SPF, if you can tell, and I'm in the shade Bodyguard, and um, what you're going to do with this is just apply it just like a, your moisturizer on your cheeks, your chin, and your forehead, and this stuff is awesome. I've never really tried a tinted moisturizer before, so I don't really have anything to compare and contrast with, but... Um, it kind of leaves your skin a little bit oily, but I have dry skin, so it's kind of good for it. And um, But other than that, it's kind of thick, so you definitely need to set it with a foundation or a setting powder to make it look right. So, oh, I def definitely recommend that. Once you have that all blended in, you're going to... Um, let me just finish blending this one before I go to the next step. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take um, a foundation of your choice. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Nature Lux today. And this is in sandstone. And what I'm going to do is take a piece size amount and apply it on my cheeks, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. So um, this might sound a little strange what I'm about to do, but I'm taking a clean angled brush angled kabuki brush I guess you could say or blush brush it doesn't really matter it's like this I think it's from Target but you're just going to blend it in so you're going to what I do is I just pull it to the top and pull it to the sides and pull it to the or pull it down and so to make sure that it gets all around your chin area and then you're going to do the same thing for your cheeks and then shade a little bit anywhere that needs to be shaded and then the same thing for this side pretty much the same thing all over your face so take it down up side side and so that makes sure that you cover the whole face and then same thing for your forehead over over down and up and then you're just going to take it like around in circles to make sure that you get the whole perimeter of your face. 
So once that is finished, um, you're going to take a concealer. And today I have the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles Treatment. This is by Maybelline. Um, and this stuff is awesome also. I just picked it up today at Kroger. So I haven't really been able to experiment it much, but from what I've tried of it, it's awesome. You just twist the cap, and it comes to a spongy applicator. And then you're just going to want to go um, to your problem areas, which are, of course, dark circles under your eyes. And this is in the color medium. And then on my chin, and then any blemishes that you may have. So you're going to let that sit for a few seconds, and then you're going to take your ring finger and um, just blend. Okay. So once that's blended in, you're going to bring your concealer from under your eyes all the way down to make sure that it doesn't look different color than your actual face. Sorry if, uh, if like my face is being removed from the camera, I'm trying to look at my mirror over here and it's kind of far away so you're going to do the same thing this side and this is just a normal everyday um, makeup look I'm not going all out with um, eyeliner or a lot of eyeshadow I'm not doing smoky eye or nothing like that this is just a simple everyday natural look that you can wear to school wear to work or any casual day out to eat anything so once you have that all blended in you're going to take the blush that you're using and for this month or for today I'm going to be using a um, Estee Lauder blush which is in this four quad and it is in the color pink kiss it's this one right here at the top so I'm going to take the same angled kabuki brush blush brush but it's the same one but I have two of them and I used one for my foundation and one for my blush so um, I'm going to go ahead and just pat that on there and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, it might look all raggedy right now. Okay, so once I've applied that to the cheeks, I've always been a person that does not like lines on my face, like with blush, so I like to blend it in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take as you can see I have lines right here and you want it to look as natural as possible so I'm going to go ahead and take my um, my Clinique uh, Super Balance Powder Makeup with SPF 15 in it and it's awesome sorry if there's a glare on it oh, I forgot about that because it's like a mirror but it's awesome you just it's just like this and you twist the top and powder comes out so that's awesome and it's a really good powder it really um, it really covers your face and it makes you look like you have a really natural matte face so you're just going to apply that all over and make sure you really blend in good with your blush so you don't have any lines and it just looks like a natural blush so you're going to do the same thing to the other side blend really well so that you do not have any lines and then you're just going to apply all over your face Okay, so that is it for the face now we're going to be applying eyeshadow and today I have the Clinique, it's a Clinique um, Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo and just go ahead and take this off. These are the two colors. And they are in Lucky Penny, which is this one. This um, shimmery, super shimmery gold kind of color. And then this one is Chocolate Chip, which, which is a stay matte. And I'm not going to be using the Chocolate Chip today. I'm just going to be using the, um, the Lucky Penny. So I'm going to take a... Just... This is pretty much... Like, if you're getting started with makeup, as I am myself, I'm getting started m with makeup. So, I don't have all the expensive um, makeup brushes that you usually use, but I just ordered a Sigma makeup. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but I just ordered it, so it should be in soon. 
but for now I'm going to use this small sponge brush that it came with and I'm going to apply it on the brush and simply just cover my eye, cover the lid of my eye with it. So once you've done that, it just adds just a little bit of natural color to your eye. So once you've done that, you're going to apply it to the second eye. And then you're going to take one second. So sorry, you guys. I forgot to bring this in here. But um, I'm going to take a Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to take the color, uh, let me find it, Sandbar Beige, which is this one right here at the bottom, and it's a matte color, and you're just going to take it with your finger or a brush, of course I don't have a brush because I'm just now starting out with makeup, and um, apply it to your brow bone. It doesn't really make a difference, but it just defines your brow bone. And if you need your eyebrows waxed, then it really kind of takes that away. So you're just going to apply that there. And as you can tell, if, if you guys can see. Okay, then we're going to apply a mascara. And today I just bought this, so I haven't used it yet. Um, it's the Maybelline, the Turbo Volume Express. And um, I like their collection, like the Colossal collection. This has lost all the packaging. It's so old. And um, like Falsies and One by One. So I really like their collection. So I was thinking, this is a new one. I'm just going to go ahead and try it out. So you're going to apply your mascara. And what I do, I have super long eyelashes. But what I do is I apply it under right here first. And then go ahead and dab it in there one more time. And then I go ahead and apply it on the top. And you're just going to kind of do a windshield wiper, kind of, I guess you could say, to lengthen. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing for the other side. So... So far I'm liking this mascara. Oh, I just got some on my eyebrow. And then wipe away any mascara smudges that you may have. So that's it for the eyes. And then I'm going to finish it off with a lipstick and a lip gloss. And for the lipstick that I have today, this is Lancome color design pale lip in the color cream and it's just a really pretty like Barbie pink if you can see that so you're just going to apply it on your lips just and with looks let's say you want to get a defined line so your lips look fabulous then I'm going to take a nudish lip gloss, but it has a pinkish tone to it, from Estee Lauder. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this is in the color Electric Ginger. It's a shimmer lip gloss, and I am in love with this stuff. I'm just going to dab it on there, not to take away the color of the lipstick. And once you're done with that, you are finished with your face. So this is my everyday makeup look. Um, so if you guys have any everyday makeup look videos that you have, you can leave it as a video response below. And um, if you guys like my videos, then please, please comment and please subscribe. And please tell your friends about me because I'm new to the YouTube world, I guess you could say. And I'm trying to get my makeup collection started and really start trying to make a lot more videos just to help you guys you know that's the purpose of me being here is to film videos for inspiration for other girls for new makeup looks just to try new things and everything so I will be posting some more videos this month 
and um, please check them out and check out the ones that I have also uploaded that I uploaded a few weeks ago. So please check them out. Tell my friends about me or tell your friends about me. <laughs> kind of rambling. So anyways, so please like, thumbs up, and check out my videos. <laughs> Thanks guys.